Now, low balls is not the oh, favourite of the, the I young want man. this shot. I want this shot. You do. And you could really benefit from it because, I mean, the whole advantage of a lower flight is taking out a lot of the elements. You know, obviously you've got wind, but then there's the density in the air and all the rest of it. When you can take a ball a little bit lower and sting it, it sort of negates a lot of those problems and yet again finishes closer to the hole of greater proximity. So, I'm going to get you to do almost the reverse of the high shot, right? So I'll explain that to the uh, to the viewers out there. First of all, standard sort of ball position for a, sort of a five iron, just forward to centre, with a little bit of spine angle. That's just a normal kind of setup, um, generically taught. Okay, you want to change a couple of things here. I want the ball to go back, but not much, right? So just probably middle to back a middle. That's about all you want to do. Towards You're, your back foot, yeah. Yeah, towards your back foot, foot dames. You don't want to stack it right near your back toe or anything like that, because you're going to create too much forward shaft lean and you're actually going to probably get too much spin. So chuck it just back a centre, okay? Second thing we're going to do, we know we put a little bit of spine angle in there like we did in the, um, uh, I guess the high shot, Uncle. but not back foot orientated, but front foot orientated. And when you do that, your spine angle, visually anyway, to a camera, might look like it diminishes or gets a little straighter. So you'll see a lot of pros out there look like they're standing almost on top of the ball with a, sh with a, with a, um, a low ball. They've still got spine angle if you reference it with their hips. So hips are here, spine's there, forms a bit of a T-bar. We know that creates an angle when your hips go forward and your head goes back. You want to stack that on your front side just a little bit, but as you can see, that straightens out your angle a little bit. Why do you do that? The only reason you do it is so it moves your low point slightly further forward which means you've still got the downward strike taken care of, okay? So there are your two sort of setup changes. Ball a little bit back and weight a little bit forward, which isn't rocket science, okay? But the second, uh, third little element here that's a kind of really important, I played this wrong for so many years, was I got used to trying to keep the ball really low with my hands a long way in front of the ball. And yeah. all that really did was start the ball low. And you probably notice that at times people hit the ball low, but and then, then it just, balloons, yeah. Yeah, it takes off, because you're getting as more RPMs on the ball, you're actually compressing it. And that okay. sort of defeats the purpose. It starts low, but it balloons like, a, like an airplane flight. So the big um, tip that really you can take on this is slight setup changes, yes, but feel as if you sweep a ball, right? You've got to try to get your um, club moving as low and long through the ball as you can. Hands, we do not want any part of that club going past your hands. So feel like, yeah, that's a good way to feel it. Steer it, yeah. Almost yeah. feel like you steer it and feel like your leading arm, right? moves at one through the ball, right? Rather than the club going past you, okay? So, time for you to cool. rock and roll here, mate. Um, so, slight setup changes, Dames. So chuck it more centralized, but even maybe a ball back a center. Somewhere there? Yeah, that's perfect. Now stack your weight probably more than you normally do. Yeah, that's that looks flush there. You've got, how much weight would you say? 50-50 is clearly on there. Nah, to be... 70, 30 maybe? Yeah, so that's about right. 70, 30 is a good good spread because you're basically making sure that the majority of your weight sets on that side and you'll notice if you back up when you do a 70, 30 spread, okay? Now, lucky last, you're gonna feel like you brush the turf. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second and now you're gonna do a practice swing and I want you to feel like your divot, if you make one, would be really long and low or maybe you just actually scare the grass on the way through but feel like your club head goes really long and low. Beautiful. Now. You probably wouldn't pick that up, but all the little pieces of grass rustled there. And even though you didn't touch the turf, the club would have been so low to the ground, the ball will make its way onto the face and take off. It just doesn't take off with a heap of spin, right? That was perfect. So set up again, obviously ball in play now, slightly back to center. Weight shift slightly forward to move your low point. Beautiful. Now club low and long through the, through the shot. Let's see how you go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> Oh, you found a new shot. That's mint, really good, all right? I hope the camera's picked that flight up. Come a lot, lot lower than the previous high ball. Probably, in all honesty, probably half Half, would have been half, yeah. yeah. right? Which is amazing, because you're coming in with, uh, obviously, a five iron, and, and that height, would yeah. you would expect Now, to... I've pulled that a little bit to the left. Yep. Is that just something to get used to? That's just plane? you. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, no. Um, look, when Helpful. you're playing a low, lower shot, sometimes what you can do by accident, right, is lean on the ball a little bit more yeah. and, and cover it, because you're obviously not wanting to get it in the air. And all that means is sometimes you can go around a corner a little bit too early and, and pull it left. So, like all shots, keep your head still once you're in that um, initial setup position and then feel the low and long, right? Yep. Don't try to lean on it too much. So um, there's your differences and they are uh, really needed. Ball goes back, weight goes forward, so your low point changes, but you're sweeping that shot 
stay really clear of leaning and trapping.